The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. Distracted driving is the leading cause of car accidents across America. You may find this hard to believe, but driving while using a cell phone reduces the amount of brain activity associated with driving by 37%. That's right. And whether handheld or hands-free, using a cell phone while driving is equivalent of driving with a 0.08 blood alcohol level. Number one distraction is use of the cell phone. And texting while driving certainly is another distraction. And just absolutely not paying attention. We see a lot of crashes because somebody bends over to pick up their Coca-Cola. Though technology is a huge distraction on the road, it isn't the only one. A study by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration concluded that those who eat and drink while driving increase the odds of an accident by 80%. Wow. And they also concluded that 65% of near-miss accidents are caused by edible distractions. I looked over to my right, I wanted a drink of water, and I had a water bottle sitting on top of my suitcase in the passenger seat. And so I leaned over for one second, it seemed like, picked up the water bottle, and I felt this real bang, you know, like I hit something like a brick wall. And everything happened so quick, I felt my car spinning and then rolling over. And it, I couldn't believe what was happening. And when the car finally came to a stop, it was upside, it was right side up, thank goodness. But it had broken this telephone pole in half and the half that fell off had started a fire. And luckily it had shorted out the, the electricity so it, it wasn't live. Because when I jumped out of the car, if the wire had been live, I would have been shocked. And I've been driving for over 50 years and never thought this could ever happen. We want everyone to be safe. And the only way you can be safe is not to be distracted while you're driving. No refreshing sip of water is worth the cost of damage repairs, or more importantly, your life. In 2009, 5,474 people were killed on U.S. roadways and an estimated additional 448,000 were injured in motor vehicle crashes that were reported to have involved distracted driving. Keegan and I were uh, in my truck and uh, we were entering an intersection and a young lady, a uh, 16 year old, uh, was talking to her mother on a hands-free device and uh, I assumed she was uh, distracted and entered, uh, did not see the stop sign and entered the intersection as I was coming through and I ended up T-boning her car on the passenger side uh, right behind the passenger side door. Um, thank goodness um, I didn't hit her, hit her about two seconds earlier. I would have severely injured the passenger or even possibly uh, killed her friend. Young folks are distracted because they'll have groups of people in the car and they'll be cutting up and having a good time and not paying attention to what they're doing. Could you please tell us about Jamie and what she was like? Jamie, um, she was like my best friend. Um, always happy. Uh, a lot of friends. Always smiling. I mean, you won't find one picture of her without a big, great smile. She was actually at a football game that night and on the way home, um, getting close to Dundee, the driver was driving in the left-hand lane and looked over her right shoulder to switch lanes and kind of caught, caught the grassy area and went to correct but overcorrected causing the car to drift over to the right all the way to the right into a ditch which caused the car to flip five times and all the kids were ejected my daughter was the only one that died Is there any advice that you could give to teenagers nowadays? Well, I would tell them, put the phones down, put them in the trunk of the car when they're driving. Um, they need to really be, really respect the roads, pay attention to what they're doing, and maybe not have so many kids in the car. But I think the big thing is to stay off the phones.
Don't let that one text message, phone call, or sip of coffee in your friendships and lives. This has been Ashley. Don't be a statistic.